Uh, have you seen that in where she says, sweet, sweet cocoa? Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. That's the first one. <laughs> That's the first one I saw. You uh, told me about Oh, it. did I? I said, she, yeah. she always does it. She did it the other night for some reason. <laughs> so me and Coker fishing there. We fishing to go do some, some exercise. And Coker's going to Montana, Wyoming. 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 Elk hunting and... I'm going to, of course, to New Mexico. So we fishing to uh, go out here. And... Coker's probably been doing it a little longer than I am. I'm really probably about a month later, so. But anyway, awesome place out here. Beautiful, really. Knoxby Hills trails. Love it out here. We spend a lot of time out here. I think it's, uh, if I'm not wrong, 13 miles of uh, single track trails here. But pretty cool. It's all mountain bike. It goes all the way to Choctaw Lake, but y'all look it up. Knoxville Hill Trail System. We finna get after it. How long you wanna go? So look, one morning, what I wanna do we can come here, me and brother Mark's done it a bunch. So you leave on, you get on that gravel road mm -hmm. and I, and I want to do it before we go elk hunting. You go all the way down, it's a seven mile loop and you stay on the gravel road. But that road goes all the way down, takes a left, takes a left, takes a left, and comes back to here. Come back right there? Y yeah, I mean, comes, come, well, it, it just, it, you come, you get back on this road, way over yonder okay. at another place, but it's seven miles, but here, uh, I don't know. We got a, t a couple different things we, we can do. I, th I think we can cut this 4.3 into like a two and a half or something. But it's 11.6. I said 13, 11.6 one way to Choctaw Lake, but it's still pretty dang cool. Oh, Coker, this is about as pretty a country for being in Mississippi. It ain't the mountains, but I don't know how far down it is right there. But it's a long ways. We used to come up here in Aiden, boy. See, the trail's gonna be way down there. He'd take off <laughs> when, when he was a little fella, yeah. <laughs> down that hill, down that hill he'd go. So these yellow signs go to the lake. And there's some orange ones when you're coming back. And they go back to Sheep Ranch Road, which is, which is where we park. It's kind of the way kind of the way that works. It's really, ain't like you're gonna get lost being in here. It's been, it's been 23 minutes so far. We're gonna try to do about 30 and then turn around and go back. Good bit of turkey scratching in here, mm -hmm. in places. Pretty. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just traveling on Elk Shape 2021. <laughs> Coker, where he's going, he's getting in better, more shape for the grizzly bears so he can run for them than he is chasing the elk. <laughs> There's lots of grizzly bears. Yeah. The guy. There's lots of grizzly bears. Yeah, you ain't got to be the fastest. You got to be just the fastest and faster than the guy you with. So that's what Coker's going to be doing out running the grizzlies. All right, we're about 30 some odd minutes into it. We're coming out of this big bottom here. And I think. I think there's a road right up here top of the hill, it is. We may hit the road and go back that way just to give us a little different, a little bit different scenery. And here, trails in great shape though. <laughs> I don't know, we may not, Coker. Look, see, I'll look at it on my maps. So we're gonna go cross country out here and hit the road just for I'm going up this hill. Should be going straight to it though. I think. Oh, yeah. Look at there. 
So, you, if you go right, like I said, you just you just go, and it's about seem like one, two, three left, and then you come back out on that main on that main sheep branch road. Oh yeah. Yeah. One point six nine. So one nine and three quarter. Now we'll go back. Took us about thirty one or two minutes to get here. Yeah, there's the gate. So I, I know where I am now. There's the gate. Pretty cool. Now we'll walk a little pretty great rock road. Headed back. So this this road has a gate on it it's closed all the time there ain't no there ain't no deer hunting traffic in here it's closed during turkey season you're either gonna walk <clears throat> or you're gonna ride a bike one of the two but you ain't riding in here in a motorized vehicle so all right i'll see y'all in a minute didn't neither one of us bring no water i ain't real sure what we was thinking about that man we didn't. It's in the truck, though. That's always good. It'll, make, it'll, it'll get us back to the truck. One thing I could do or not do to, you know, help you make my hunt a success, he said, be physically prepared. In shape, yeah. Yep. Well, it just, it makes, like I said, and it may not make a difference on, on day one or day two, but about day five or six, when it's time to roll out of that bunk and your legs is tired, so yeah, it makes yeah, it makes all the difference in the world. So, <clears throat> and like I said, it just this makes your hunt. I mean, Dad told me over and over, it just makes your hunt last longer. Uh, so, I just ain't nothing like it. And I, I tell guys at the store all the time, <clears throat> I mean, I love the road trip out there. Love the trip. I love the mountains. And we just lucky that the elk live there. I mean, honestly, I, I told a guy the other day, he looked at me like I was crazy. If, if I don't see an elk, then okay. Yeah, that's, that's hunting. Yeah, I mean, it, it really don't matter to me. I'm gonna see some prairie dogs. I'm gonna see some turkeys. I'm gonna see an eagle. I'm gonna see some frost on some skunk cabbage, you know, at 10,000 feet. I'm gonna sit up there. I'm gonna hear an elk or two bugle, and I'll be fired up. But I may take my freeze-dried food, my cooker, and just get up there at 11 o'clock in the morning and sit on a rock. And, the day. And, yeah, not even be close to an elk, and it don't matter. It don't matter. It's just different. And if you dad you know i think he started going in 78 or something like that <clears throat> and he'd tell folks if you're going out here to to kill something if that's what you're going to base your hunt on then you better off stay at the house you're but if you want to go out here and do like me and you doing laughing cutting up having a good time then let's go you just think about how many more mississippi whitetail hunters would be successful here. If they treat it whitetail season like we treat elk season. Elk season, same way. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just the process is, is uh, I don't know. The process is what it's all about. All right, we cross country again. We're going to make a little loop out to the next road. and We're going to be done, but man, it's pretty in here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Me and Kirk was just talking though. You starved to death trying to kill a deer in here in this open country. Fella hunts in here don't like deer meat. Pretty, pretty. I think we're gonna hit a woods road right up here and take us back to that to that gravel. We normally, I mean, the bull I shot last year, he's 33 yards, you know, and I knew when the air left my bow that it was money, but I lost track of the air real quick, and uh, 
you know, I immediately walked up there. I was nervous, like you are on every one of them you shoot. But I walked up there to where the where the bull was standing, and I could see his tracks. And I didn't see no blood. I went probably 30 yards, you know, mm -hmm. nothing. And I was aware of him crashing. I told Dad, I said, man, first of all, I think I smoked him. Second of all, I know I heard him crash, but I never heard him do the death moan. And, you, and you, I hope you get to hear that. Yeah. Cause I've heard seven or eight of mine do that. They, they kind of whinny like a horse. But uh, anyway, I sat down 30, 45 minutes. Then I went all the way back to camp and I got dad and we went to where I was standing. I had marked it. It was funny cause I didn't have no, uh, I didn't take my backpack that day. So I didn't have no marking tape. Well, it done warmed up. I had a long sleeve Sitka t-shirt on. So I said, well, crap. So I cut the sleeves out of my Sitka t-shirt <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I could get back to that spot, mm -hmm. you know? So I'd hang that Sitka, a piece of the Sitka t-shirt and hang a piece, hang a piece. Anyway, we went back to that spot and I actually used it for a headband the, the rest of the time. And uh, we walked and walked, man, couldn't find no blood. And we probably didn't find blood coker for, it was probably 75 yards. And then we started finding blood and he was dead in 50, piled up. So I, so I did hear him, hear him, uh, hear him die. So 3.41 miles. 3.41, so we are back. That was a that was a pretty good walk. Looks like somebody's here from Rankin County. It's hard to believe people come all the way down here just to just to a walk exercise. So anyway, it was good. Yeah. We'll try to do this several more times. Just open the truck and get us something to drink. And, and uh, appreciate y'all following along. All right, so. Me and Coker went and exercised. I got my camper all cleaned up from East Coast Pro, washed it, got her shined up. Now I'm fixing to take it and and uh, park it. <laughs> what are you doing? That's wet, I washed it out. Uh-oh. Huh? Um. Tell everybody, hey, they hadn't seen you in a while. Hey, hey. What have you been doing inside? Well, you've been doing something. Cleaning. Cleaning up. Whoop. <laughs> About just fell out of that thing. You don't want to ride with me and Mr. Coker? Nah. I have to clean. Huh? I have to clean. Well, tell everybody what Kamar is for Ainsley Ruth. Um, it's not school. Um, it is my, um, um, I give Miss, um, boys then my school supplies and then the next day is my school. Oh, so, so Tuesday's like the first full day of school? <laughs> And what grade are you going to be in? First. Whoa. Reckon you'll be the only kid there that's got a YouTube channel? Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, me and Mr. Coker are going to take the... Uh... One time I was, talk I was in vacation, but I was going. One time I told Miss Grace I had a YouTube channel. And this girl, Kenzie, in my class, she said, You have no YouTube channel. What did you tell her? Yes, I did. What, what, did you tell her what the name of it was? I didn't. And she still didn't believe me, but kids can be cool. Kids can be what? Cool. Cool. All right, we're going to take the... Guys, did you know there was this famous dancer who did the moonwalk? Did you know when you... If you're doing the moonwalk, you, did you know when you do it, you have to go on forward? You have to go forward. What was his name? Mike or something? Michael Jackson. Yep. All right, well, me and Mr. Coker are going... Take the camper down to the shop and park it up, okay? okay Alright, see you in a minute. Alright guys, so I don't even think I videoed when I brought my camper down here. I got it backed in uh, under the shed here. But I am about to do some grass spraying. So <clears throat> you don't have to get up under here and do no weed eating and stuff like that. So I'm about to spray and try to kill all this old grass up under here where the where the camper's at. And then it'll look lots better up under here. But I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. Aiden, I think he's lifting weights. Uh, and then he and I are gonna go hit a little bit. And then tomorrow is day one of school. So 
Uh, I'm gonna get this done. That's gonna uh, that's gonna pretty much wind us up today. So appreciate y'all following along. I hope you hope you like the the uh, the video of us, me and Coker, walking this morning. We got a lot done. Just trying to get in trying to get in elk shape. So uh, again, I think I mentioned, or I don't even know if I posted the video yet, but uh i got some old elk videos like i said my camera's gonna be turned wrong so it's not gonna be full screen but if that's something y'all might be interested in just uh let me know in the comments hey we want to see some of the old elk videos and it's it's nothing great it may be some elk bugling kind of the places that that i've been hunting uh but i can probably put them all together in uh one video but y'all can let me know thank y'all for following the fanchers and we'll catch you next time